Hi and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to make your own print book cover on book brush. My name is Nakari Griffiths. I'm the author of three fiction books and the creator of a bunch of courses. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook and Patreon as well as here on YouTube. So I wanted to make this video because I have done some tutorials on book brush before but they were all for ebooks and I more than ever now understand the importance of being able to make your own book cover and this has come to me now. I'm writing my fourth and fifth book and my last three um, experiences with cover designers have been really bad. The last cover I absolutely loved but there was an issue and the designer just hasn't gotten back to me and it's been months. I've tried and tried to track him down and he just right out ignores me so that's really frustrating but I know now that I can create a cover for the second book on book brush. I really wanted him to design book one and book two and all the books in the series covers because I wanted them all to look really similar but luckily when he did send me the finalized file he sent me a copy of the font and a few different graphics so I was able to upload those to book brush and use them to make the book two cover and then I'm also just using some royalty free images which I'll show you in this tutorial as well. So that is the reasoning that I'm designing my own book cover on book brush so I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I will see you at the end of this video. So here is my book brush account and because I've already started my cover I'm going to my projects and cover creator so that's where it will be kept but I will show you how to start a new one if you haven't started one already. And then I've clicked on the project and here I was playing around with different sizes for the crowns so the front I tried a bigger crown and the back I tried a smaller one just to see what I thought and here you can see the back the spine and the titles and everything so on the left there that's where you pick your dimensions like page numbers page color um, dimensions and everything like that and this is where you would upload your own font. That's where I upload my font or pick your favorite font. And the sizes all determine the width of the spine. So that's really important. Same with the color of the pages. Now I've gone to Canva to find the picture of the crown. So this is where I found my royalty free image. You can also find them on royalty free websites online, but I just used Canva. So basically, you pick a element and you type in what it is, white or black. I wanted white because I have a black background. And then I put it onto a blank um, little image here. So you can just pick a square or like business cards or logos here and then delete what they have and put your picture instead. And then you download it as a translucent image. You do have to have um, either paid version or trial version of Canva to do this and then once you have picked that and done all that then you can download it and open it up to download in book brush. I save it as a PNG image too because it's higher quality. So now back on book brush go to my images and either upload an image or if you have one there click on it and then it brings it to your book cover so then you double click on it to bring up the adjustments page and i'm just going to make it pretty much translucent and i did the same thing with my logo um that white square is for the barcode and book brush automatically puts that there which is great they put it where any print on demand company would put your barcode uploaded all the different fonts and made different text boxes for different ones because that's what you have to do and now i'm just going to show you how to start from scratch
a go to cover go to cover creator and instead of um, print or ebook you just press templates instead and then you can select print or ebook and what genre you want and it comes up with all of their templates which you can completely customize but it's really cool because it gives you kind of a royalty free book cover that's already made up already looks professional then you can just add in your details but I would definitely change it a bit if I was to use one of these because you don't want to have the same book cover as someone else that would not be a fun time um, all are very professional but yes yeah, so just pick one and customize it or you can just start from scratch like I did and um, I just made the book cover black since mine is super simple but if I was to start from scratch again I would probably use one of these and then just customize the heck out of it to make it super different so yeah that is how you design a print book cover on bookbrush Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really excited to put out my new book and explore more cover designing on Bookbrush. And I do plan to do this for some of my books in the future. I am also going to try and find another cover designer. Fingers crossed I find someone that's actually reliable this time because that has been the problem every time. It's not even that I didn't like the covers, it's that they weren't reliable. They just finish the cover and that's it if it needs tweaking too bad you're on your own kind of thing which is really frustrating when you've paid money especially lots of money and it's just really unprofessional so please don't forget to thumbs up this video if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel i have a lot of new videos coming thank you again for watching and i will see you in my next video